from the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. It's the Cube covering HoshoCon 2018. Brought to you by Hosho. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live in Las Vegas for theCUBE's exclusive coverage of HoshoCon. This is the first inaugural event of its kind. It's the first security blockchain conference where all the top minds in the security blockchain decentralized world come together to try to work on, solve, and enhance the security profile of how the world's running. As we know, blockchain's running the infrastructure and we need security. I'm John Furrier, host to theCUBE. I'm here with David Johnson, the CEO of Latium. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, John. So, uh, you're one of the brain trusts in the industry here at this event, trying to solve the security problems. Let's get into it. But first, take a minute to explain what you guys do. What does your company do? What's your purpose to exist? Why are you in business? Well, our main goal is trying to help get the, the message of crypto out and, and increase in adoption in the space. Um, we do a lot of things. We're a multifunctional platform. Uh, we're trying to make, just make it easy by putting everything in one place. We believe that there's a lot of complexity. Um, there's a lot of technical knowledge required. I mean, I've been in technology for 30 years and it's really <laughs> complex to use crypto. <laughs> yeah. and, we, and we just think everyday people probably will not learn that. It's like, they don't, they don't know why they, uh, their, their, their car moves when they press the gas pedal, but they know that it does and yeah. we're trying to solve that for crypto. Yeah, and it's like yeah. a car. Imagine having to open the hood up, throw a switch, put your finger, put the, <laughs> yeah. put the screwdriver on this, get a charge, go back in, run in. I mean, just turn the key. It's asking Come a bit on. much. Yeah. Uh, at least okay. that's after So when you say moving a lot of complexity in the platform. Are you talking about custody? Are you talking about tech stack? What specifically are you guys doing? Is it technology stack? Is it a framework? Is it software? Is it? It's, it's, a, it's a platform. It's, it's, a, it's a platform as far, it is a community where they can come in. It's a multi-currency wallet. It's an exchange. They can work for crypto. They can hire for crypto. Um, so again, we're taking from the client side, anything they would want to do with crypto, we're trying to put that in one place. So you're trying to build a multi-purpose platform where someone can run turnkey. Exactly. A full end-to-end -end life cycle of crypto. That's correct. And why would they do that? For build an app, marketplaces is a business model driven. So what's your target customer looking to do? Are they developers? Are they big businesses? Well, our target market is the everyday person who wants access to crypto. They're hearing about crypto, yep. but they don't know how to participate. So it starts off easy for them. They can come into the platform and they can, they can perform a task on our platform and now they're immediately a crypto holder, right? So we just want, we want to expose that space and make it, that access point as easy as possible. Best way to get, get people into crypto is give a crypto away. And that's what we're, kind of what we're doing. We're giving them crypto for their production. All right, so, uh, so give me an example. We're into crypto, we're doing a little cube crypto. Mm -hmm. How do we get involved? What do, what do we do? How do we use you? Well, one way you could use it is you could use us uh, if you were trying to, say, promote something. That would be, that'd be one way to do it. You want, you want the community to get behind something. Uh, you want feedback. Say you have a website and you want feedback. Um, you, you need beta testers, right? You could list a task on our platform. Um, our community base would see that listing. They could decide, I, I want to perform this mm -hmm. task and be paid in crypto. So you guys are looking at the, um, you know, the uh, Upwork like crypto similar, model. Similar. So WorkCoin is another, is they a competitor mm -hmm. to you guys? Um, I don't really feel like anybody in the space is, uh, is a true competitor. There, there's crossover and some functionality, but because we're approaching the, the whole solution as a, a wallet, an exchange, and a tasking platform, um, I, I don't really see anybody's direct competition. That's good, I like the platform approach. So having platforms that are open, mm -hmm versus closed is what people are concerned about these days. How are you handling the open versus closed question? You guys let you people own their own data. How's that working on the platform? Well, as it stands right now, um, uh, you know, we, we're a hybrid between blockchain and, and centralization. Uh, and the reason for that is for scalability purposes. Yeah. Uh, blockchain tech is just not there. I know we all want it to be there. That's true, but it, it's it, you fair. Know, but if we're yeah. honest, you know, we're, we're not there. So we're trying to build an enterprise application and, and we know that if that's 100% pure blockchain right now, that you're going to run into scale issues. So so as and reliability, as, many issues. Yes, we yes, all know that. Yeah. Yes, and, and and data, you know, data ownership is uh, definitely a sensitive topic. Um, as far as our approach on that, you know, we're pretty open on what we're storing. Um, our biggest uh, data point is really a trust score, and you have full control over that by how you participate within the system. You know, uh, good actors uh, get the get the benefits of being a good actor, and and there's consequences if you're a bad actor in the system. And the way that we do that is uh, we have a, a verification system that's using biometric data off of your face, and we're creating a unique digital profile tied back to the user. So unlike other platforms where they can just make a new account, um, become a bad actor, you can't do that on our system. So that's, that's one space that's very unique. I think crypto's got a lot of 
a lot of opportunities to manage bad actors. Yes. If you can make the incentive costly, yes. that's an interesting and dynamic. And is that kind of what you guys are thinking too? Like, yeah, bad actors, always a problem is in web, it's easy to be anonymous. That's it. You start a bot and get killed, create a new That's one, right. they spawn, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I always say that the internet gave us this amazing platform for communication and, and networking and opened up a whole new world, but it removed trust. Totally removed trust. Yeah. There is no concept Reputation of and trust. trust. Yes. Reputation and trust are, are, are it's a big scattered. Issue. A lot of people um, in crypto are trying, are struggling with two things. I want to get your thoughts mm -hmm. and reaction to. One is community, yes. and the other one is marketplaces. Mm -hmm. You're a classic marketplace. If you're doing tasks, yes. gig economy, we know what that means. You're sharing, you're open, you're sure. publishing, it's open. Yeah. So check on the marketplace. Community is another one. How do you build a community? Sure. People raise these big ICOs and they say, hey, I need a community. Yes. You can't buy a community. No, no, you have to have something people want. <laughs> and so that's the question. I mean, in any business model, um, you're, you're looking to, uh, you're, you got to define what it is that you're building that someone wants. If you can't define that, then you don't have a business. All right, so here's a, here's a pressure question for you. What's the hallway conversations like that you're overhearing and also you're participating in here at HoshoCon? A lot of smart people. I've, I've overheard a bunch of conversations. I just want to bust in and listen. Yeah. I feel rude, but I'm like, listen, leaning in. <laughs> Interesting people here. Sure. Great to ask. What are some of the hallway conversations that you're overhearing and some that you're participating in? Well, I think you know, uh, there's a lot of focus on, on um, the security levels of, of, of the contracts. There's been quite a few hacks uh, just over the last couple of days, so that's been a buzz. And I think you know, it's kind of uh, interesting that you know, we're at a security conference and, and then we have hacks there going on, so there's been a lot of buzz around that. People have been traveling on a plane, they attack whenever all the security guys are traveling. <laughs> 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 Social engineering at its best. Yeah, that might be the case, yeah. <laughs> all right, anything else, uh, sessions you've been to? Um, you know, as far as the sessions go, I mean, I think that you know, Max Max put on a great session uh, today. I thought, you know, he's always an eloquent speaker, and uh, so that was that was a great great speech as far as I was concerned. Um, you know, I think that it's uh, you know, it's nice to see that we're moving in the direction of acknowledging that security is a big deal in the space, and I, I, I think this great the host show is bringing that out. So, what's the biggest surprise this week for you here? Um, I would say that the, the, the biggest surprise for me is just um, how well organized the event is. You know, been to, been to quite a few events and, and the, the Hosha team has done a great job organizing this event. Yeah, and it's not too crowded either. Mm. It's the right mix of people, of yeah. course, you know, and they're videotaping all the sessions, so yeah. just to let everyone know, we'll put those videos up in the Cube Cloud and make them searchable for Host Show Con. so uh, we're going to help get those videos out as well. Cool, so what's new with the business? How's things going? What's this, gives the update, funding status, employees? These are, these are going really well. I mean, we've actually seen uh, really exponential growth this month. We're registering between 1,000 and 3,000 registrations a day now. Um, uh, we, we, we've got about 22,000 uh, verified members in our system, and when I say verified, it's again, it means that they've actually gone through a verification process and they can't duplicate accounts. So and they got a wallet, they're downloading, exactly. they got the wallet. Exactly, it all, it's all in one. You register, you get multi-currency wallet off the bat. Um, so it, we've seen a lot of growth and a, and a lot of attention in the, in, in, so far in this month. And so which blockchain are you using? Um, well, we're again, we're a multi-currency, so we, uh, we're, we're you don't tied care. In. Well, our token is ERC twenty. Okay. Um, but as far as how we deal with other blockchains, right now we have uh, Bitcoin integration, Tether integration, Ethereum integration, and we're going to be adding ERC twenty. So using the ERC twenty mainly for the smart contract. Uh, we're with, you, on, on the transaction. Yeah, we're using ERC twenty for our own tokens. Yes. Okay, got it. All yes. Right. Yeah. And the tokens for the the gigs, the work. The, 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 the utility token. Yes, that's our token. That's your token, okay, got that's it. Correct. Right. That's correct, that's okay, correct. Yeah, so they're getting, they, they, but they can take that immediately and they can change it out for Bitcoin if they like or they can hold our token. the exchange or, piece. Correct, it's all there. So multi-purpose, yeah, that's interesting, yeah. great. Yeah. Well, hey, congratulations, David Johnson, he's the CEO of Latium, check him out. End-to-end -end exchange, getting work done, tasks, we certainly could use some UI on our project, <laughs> so can we put that in there? There you go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> getting some business done here at theCUBE, bringing you live coverage here at HoshoCon, stay with us. We got two days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We'll be back with more after this short break.